So I'm one of those people, man, I get into X Games. I'm not like yeah. just sit there and just watch. Like I'm yelling. I might even come out with a sign. You never even know. I love New Zealand. I mean, it's so beautiful for one, but two, it's, the riding's good. It's winter time down here. And the Kiwis are all good people. I mean, You would, you would like that fire over there? Oh, I got you. This year's been fun filming these webisodes. I mean, it's been pretty hectic. It's been a lot of contests, so I appreciate everyone bearing with me on those. But, you know, it's been good. It's like, this is my life, just traveling, doing a lot of contests, riding with friends, traveling with friends. I mean, the friends I travel with are pretty much family. I mean, they're like my brothers and sisters, so it's nice to be able to share these experiences with them, especially when you're older looking back. But um, it's cool, I got to do a lot of cool things, shoot fully automatic guns, a flamethrower, hang out with Sheckler in the mountains, um, hang out with Jim Jones, had uh, Raekwon and Ghostface play my X Games party and hang out with them. Um, it's been fun, man, but it's just trying to stay healthy and ride contests and just have fun with snowboarding because, you know, this is what I love to do. Highlights, probably winning overall do tour, winning overall Grand Prix. Lows, X Games this year, that really sucked. And then uh, I was happy with World Champs, but I was, I feel like I could have rode a little better. But um, you know, I'm not gonna complain, I got on the podium, but you know, you just always, I'm a super harsh critic on my riding. So, you know, this year has been pretty good. I've been pretty fortunate. So uh, I can't complain too much. For me, giving a commencement speech is scarier than dropping in a half pipe just because I don't like having like stuff pre-prepared to say. I'd rather just you ask me a question and I'll answer it off the top of my head. But um, once I get in past the first little bit, then it's easy going from there. So hopefully we get that far quick. It is now my pleasure to present our guest speaker, Mr. Louis Vito. Good evening. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. When I was eight years old, I knew I wanted to be a professional snowboarder. Lots of people told me I couldn't do it. A pro snowboarder from Ohio? They told me only 2% of all people actually become a professional snowboarder. They told me, you can't make a living off of snowboarding, and on and on. But one person believed in my dream, me. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something until after you've done it. From a kid raised in the flatlands of Ohio who became a professional snowboarder, do not let anyone say you can't do something or try to stifle your dreams. Believe in yourself. Get off your rear end and go make something happen. Make your footprint in this world. Don't leave your butt print. And one more thing, I'd like to thank my parents and grandparents for coming today. They never thought they'd see me at a college graduation. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Louis does really well under pressure, because I don't know how much he practiced that thing, but man, he killed it. I, you know, it's like that in, in all the sports, all the snowboarding he does, he, he does better under pressure. <laughs> That's all I can say.
So I'm one of those people, man, I get into X Games. I'm not like yeah. just sit there and just watch. Like I'm yelling. I might even come out with a sign. You never even know. Nice. But um, you know, I just want to, I'm like excited for Moto. It's always fun to watch. Uh, skateboard Big Air, Skate Street. You know, I got a lot of friends in that. And, you know, it, it's cool coming out here because you always make new friends too, especially people you might not have met, but you've heard their name. Oh, I've seen you or I've heard about you. It's nice to finally meet you and, you know, kind of ex expand your network and your friends. And uh, that's what it's all about. and they're doing a 3D movie now, like, what do you expect? I don't even think my expectations, they're always going to be exceeded with those guys. I mean, whatever you think, they're pretty much doing it crazier than that. So, and it's in 3D, so that makes it, I think, uh, three times better. The movie was awesome. Uh, I didn't really expect anything less from Pastrana and the boys. I'm flabbergasted by that movie, and I've never used the word flabbergasted before I watched that movie. You know, you see something at the beginning of the movie, you're like, I gotta remember that. That was so, that was gonna be the craziest thing. And then it just tops it, and then it just tops it. I get real passionate when I talk about these guys because I've known them for so long, well, Travis at least, and uh, I was stoked, man. Perfect. I love New Zealand. I mean, it's so beautiful for one, but two, it's, the riding's good. It's winter time down here, and the Kiwis are all good people. I mean, they're stoked to have, you know, all of the snowboard and ski community come down and enjoy their winter. And um, I think it's good. The features are good. The snow is normally pretty good. The weather is just typical winter weather, and it's a perfect way to end the summer and get ready to go into fall and winter. You ever been jet boating, Louie? No, that's what I was just going to say. It doesn't matter if it was choppy or flat. I would still be hyped either way. The first one in the water, baby. I don't know, like, really how many miles per hour it goes, but it's fast. Like, the thing is fast. It's like a Porsche. Yeah, dude, I've just seen him go like this. A little choppy out there for the boys, but they're going to be fine. Is that part of the plan, Benji? Oh no, man. <laughs> kind of, but a little bit too fast. <laughs> <laughs> just, a little, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, maybe. You know, with the Red Bull camp, I got quite a few goals. You know, I just make a list of goals and then I can go, you know, here and there with it and see what works and what's not working. But they have airbags, which I've never really got to ride too, too much on. So really try to push my riding and push myself and hopefully the weather stays nice and I can get a lot accomplished. Yeah, I can't really say exactly what, you know, exactly what tricks he's working on, but he's definitely working on some cutting edge moves that basically no one or very few people in the world do. So with that said, you can kind of gives you the hint of what he's doing. <laughs> JJ and I are gonna stay a team for a while, man. We're about to we're about to kill the game. My major goals for 2013 is just stay consistent, keep progressing, have fun, and uh, making sure my body stays together. The hype, you know, for the Olympics is gonna be based on a lot of off of 2013, which is, you know, it's just all hearsay. I just want to do well for myself and you know that's why I do contests. I go into every contest wanting to do well, so it's more for me than anything. Shall I fetch your gold teeth in Jordan, sir?